Yo guys, so as you can see right now, the Vargo 52 has been officially released in Cold War, and in this video, I'm gonna give you guys just a few crucial tips for unlocking this weapon as quickly and stress-free as possible, which is a good thing because this thing is absolute beast and rips in both multiplayer and zombies, so the challenges for unlocking this gun today are pretty simple, as you can read, uh, but zombies is gonna be so much quicker to unlock, so I'm gonna explain that first, but don't worry, for you multiplayer-only homies out there, I'm still gonna give a couple tips for MP. Either way you do this gun is very simple to get and definitely worth the wait, like I said, because it absolutely shreds. So for my personal tip on unlocking this, what I would simply do is get set up on Firebase Z with preferably at least one friend of yours playing along. If this is not possible, still, this is totally easy to do solo, so don't worry. If you're just trying to be as efficient as possible, though, make sure you have a friend. And if you don't have a problem setting up with the Rampage Inducer active, then go ahead and start that immediately located here. Just a note, when recording here, I was playing with my girlfriend, and when we play on Firebase Z, we don't mind taking a couple extra minutes and waiting until power is on fully to turn on the Rampage Inducer. But either way, make sure you turn it on and activate it once you get the power on and you are pack level one, at least, I'd say. Then immediately head over to the Colonel's office, which is, in my opinion, the most brainless and easy spot to grind kills and camos and cold war zombies especially with the rampage inducer on if you have at least two people one of you run toxic growth and the other run ring of fire or if you're solo simply pick one of those two field upgrades and do half of this strategy whichever one sounds better to you and easier to run in colonel's office alone but basically as these zombies come in the toxic growth player keeps a growth in front of the window and make sure you're keeping that replenished as well as maybe one in the hallway if it starts to get a little bit you know too rambunctious for you but definitely focus on the left so that you can keep those zombies coming down the hall being your main focus okay and then simply the other player waits for the opportune times to use ring of fire like when a mimic spawns or another boss and you start to run out of magazine at a bad time you know what i mean but basically it's a combo of those two field upgrades that are going to lead to your biggest success so it's a bit harder to save a zombie at the end of the round with the rampage inducer on but often a mangler will have a glitch spawn just below you and outside near the order location giving you a little bit of time that way or simply don't kill when you get low in zombies and make sure you can go around and pack a punch and upgrade eventually until you get to the third tier. Now make sure to check your kill number right before you upgrade to pack three and you're going to use some mental math here or you can flex on those Vanguard fanboys and pause your game so that you can crunch some numbers and simply add 750 to the number of kills you're at currently and boom that's your goal. Once you get to about that many zombie eliminations in your game whatever your number was at pack three plus seven 750 you will see that you unlock the Vargo and you can end the game but don't expect to only have to get exactly 750 more I mean because you might be getting kills with equipment here and there or a few spare kills from your toxic growth especially if that's what you're running now for the multiplayer side this is a slower method but for those not really worried about unlocking it instantly and you just want to play some MP I would suggest playing core here so that you're able to do more damage per kill as hardcore will allow you to kill them with less damage versus earning 150 damage per kill in core you simply only need 1,000 damage in a game with an assault rifle, so pick your favorite gun and go to town until you at least get 1k damage. In some game modes like TDM, it should show you on the scoreboard, so you don't have to do guesswork on your total damage, but if not, anything above about 10 kills in core should definitely do the trick, unless they're all assists, that's gonna be very rare though. I would also queue either face off and hope that you get TDM lobbies, or queue TDM since they tend to have the quickest matches. In the glitch way to get this gun in Modern Warfare that was discovered a couple weeks ago, you could leave matches early but in this text they clearly state 15 completed matches that you need 1000 damage in i have heard from a couple people that you can leave early and it will count but usually those are just rumors your best bet is to either try that once and see if it counts towards your total and if it does go ahead if you look at the locked gun in your inventory and it still shows zero as the progress that means you should just stick around and grind camos in the game while you wait for each game to end and do that 15 times. So like I said, it's a very simple unlock either way for a very fun and easy to use gun, but I think zombies is gonna be a lot quicker for most of us, so that's why I showed the first method there. And of course, this video was obviously aimed at those of you that are returning to Cold War after not playing for a while, or for those of you that are new and wanting to find the quickest way to get to use this thing. As you can see from the gameplay, there is excellent coverage of both Dark Aether and Dark Matter as well, and with that combined with the performance of this gun it's become one of my favorite guns in cold war very quickly i'm honestly just happy to see some year two content come into cold war at all and this looks to be the first of possibly a few post life cycle updates 
on the horizon, so that is super hype. Keep a lookout, I will be having a video on this bundle for this gun, I believe, as well, uh, when I'm able to get that out very shortly. But either way, thanks for watching, and make sure to leave a like if this helped you in any way, as well as subscribe and check out my Twitch, where you can have a blast redeeming some of the best channel points out there and join in on our awesome stream community, where it's just homies left and right, and it's never not a good time, I promise. Anyways, my name is Cruxel. thanks for watching, and I hope you get a nuke today after watching this, and may the SBMM gods be ever in your favor. Peace.